All right, I just open up the hood on the Merc for the first time uh, this year. In fact, I'd have to look back at YouTube to find out uh, when the last time I would have had the hood open here. But I found out I fucked up, and usually I am in the habit uh, of taking one of the uh, posts off. In this case, because it's positive ground, I usually take the red one off. And uh, that's probably bad. Not too bad. Six and a quarter. I was worried it had uh, gone way down. I'm, I'm not aware of any leaks uh, right now. The one thing that I do know leaks, uh, you won't see this probably, is the um, this uh, 6 to 12 volt power converter here, which is for the um, windshield wiper motors. And uh, that's been disconnected uh, for years because uh, it was a parasitic loss. I don't know if I'll try and start today. Um, I might do. I'd like to. Um, the biggest thing will be to get the um, the biggest thing would be to get the um, the fuel will all have evaporated out of the line, and also it will have evaporated out of the um, out of the bowl. The bowl looks pretty full, but it only takes a little tiny. That's why I have this pump here to uh, prime, but I doubt if it's pulling anything but air out of there. Oh, feel it. Hey. Fucking hey. I'm not sure that's ever happened. In past years, I have had to uh, hook up a electric pump but it's definitely, yeah, I can feel the bulb full. Oh, well, fuck. I might as well start this bitch right now. Could possibly go wrong. Um, yeah, with that being the case, I should probably go get the key. Then we'll find out that the six, six and a quarter isn't enough to turn it, but uh, save that. I'm genuinely shocked. I've never had uh, it come up that easy. Um, like I say, I've had to either pour gas down there in order to get it to match the tank level and then start siphoning. Anyway, fuck. I'm excited. That's super cool. Hold on. Give her a couple of squirts here. I'm going to go get the key. We also might be faced with uh, the points having corroded up a little bit. All right, just have a look at the inside of the distributor here. I have uh, sanded the points. Everything else in here looks pretty good. The top electrode might be a little bit worn down, but I uh, also sanded the rotor tip. So I'm hoping that's enough because we got gas and uh, it was turning over pretty well. But it was not catching. No catch. It's not too uncommon after an entire winter. All right. 
I'm just waiting for the inside battery to finish so that I can start it from inside the car and uh, we'll give it a go. It's warm here. Okay, what do we got? Pretty sure we got fuel because the bowl is definitely full. That really sounds like a uh, lack of spark, but let's keep uh, let's keep going. It's not catching at all. I still think uh, something distributor wise. The only other thing I found when I had the cap off was that there's that negative wire that runs through it. I don't know if it's a part of the condenser. Might be a part of the condenser circuit. And at one point it had been taped for some reason and it felt a little floppy. So, But still, uh, over the course of a winter, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe corroded inside the tapes coming off or something. Let's keep getting her. It should be catching. A little bit curious given that I'd already fully primed the bowl. The ass was right at the ready. And I have already uh, hand uh, primed it as well. Anyway, that's a good. I, I'm not going to. Uh, I am not going to complain. We have at least 45 pounds of oil pressure. Fuel gauge is slowly coming up. That's a complete. The fuel gauge is completely fucked. Um, not completely. It, it does register stuff, but it's and the battery showing charge or charging. Ah, sweet. Now, people who have watched me in this car, it is a reliable runner. There's no doubt about it. It's just always those prime things and the and the points after a whole. I, I would imagine late September or something is the last time I was out in this. Or last time I had it started. So it's been a fuck ton of months. And, um... Dad and Wayne and everybody always said, you know, this is probably the most reliable car. Even being the oldest one on my lot. Um, obviously the red and, you know, the red and the blue one, they, 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 will, they don't fail to start. But, um, for the age of this one and how long it's had here, that's... That ain't bad. I, I will admit, I was getting a little bit uh, suspicious there. I thought perhaps I just hadn't sanded the points enough. I can't actually see the points all that, you know, like, you know, on some engines they're close enough that you can kind of see if there's a uh, patina on them or whatever, but, but I did give them a good scrub, so I was fairly... Uh... Temp's coming up here good. The temp always rises fast in this uh, engine. That's That's been a topic of discussion as well. Of course, a, uh, a flathead V8 has two separate water chambers, right? There is a water hose uh, in and out for each side of the engine. So it's a little queer that way. Yeah, it's, it's climbing fast, man. It'll be that hot in no time. Alright, what's really cool... First of all, that it's just such a smooth ass... I was just saying to the camera outside, I get confused when I got two cameras because I forget what I've said to each side, but um, first of all, this idle is beautiful. I think it's about, last time I checked it, it was like 450 RPM or something like that. I've got it turned down pretty low. 
I don't turn it down so low that I'll stall it driving it, but um, right now I'm seeing that the other thing is, even though it's inching up toward the hot, where it spends a lot of time, by the way, um, even after idling this amount, it uh, hasn't grown up the, in a way that I, I'm scared. I'm going to give a couple of revs because I also put a little zoom recorder back at the tailpipe there. loves it when they, uh, whoever would, dad or I rev the shit out of shit. Anyway, it's, that's enough. It's getting silly. Anyway, a wonderful first start. Always a little bit of excitement to figure out what is unhappy, but, uh, the Merc just doesn't give a fuck. It's pretty, uh, resilient to all that shit. Generator's obviously working. We've got some bat charge there. This thing is a righteous piece of beauty. Um, I mean, really, we had success there. I think I'll call it there. And um, if I get out in this, I'll definitely uh, put a camera up. And as the COVID is slowly waning, um, I think some of the A&W car shows are starting up. So. There might be one happening in, in an hour or so, but um, I don't. I don't feel just having started it. I'm not doing that. Uh, you know, Caro and family wouldn't call me a risk taker necessarily, but still, sometimes going out in this is fucking risk taking no matter what. So I, I must disagree. Um, yeah, not much more to say. Fucking righteous. Temperature is up to hot now, but you know I haven't. You know we're not moving, so that's natural. I'm gonna sign off for now. You take care, have fun, stay dirty, and I will talk to you next time. Bye. Anyway, um, I'm gonna sign off. That is pretty bitchin' though. I'm quite happy. Yay.